Nashville's not just about country anymore. It's not this sleepy little southern town. Things are starting to happen. It's exciting because it's growing and it's drawing young and creative people from all over the country. The Nashville vibe is very much, let's try it, why not? And there's this, the feel of possibilities. When you come to Nashville thinking it's just country music, but really you find everything. You find country, rock, funk, R&B. We cover all the bases. Immediately you want to start clapping your hands and you start dancing. That's the reason you come to Nashville, right? To hear that music. I think you see so many jeans in Nashville, other than hopefully because they come from here. <laughs> you see them because Nashville is so casual and so unassuming. I think that culture has helped our business and I hope, honestly, that our business has helped that culture. Third Man was started by Jack White and myself and Ben Blackwell and what we wanted to create was sort of a headquarters where we could have a record store, a photo studio, a live room where you can record. They'll have live shows there and they'll immediately do a pressing, a record of the concert, which is great. You know what happens, you open the candy store and all the kids in town come to buy. So I, I discovered that rock and roll is where they're open for that. And, and then country music, you know. I come from the animal world, the rooster, that's nice feather. The lion has a great name. You know, that kind of a thing. We started building airplane parts into furniture. And the name of this place, the fuselage, kind of came off of that. But it's so much more than just the aviation stuff. One of a kind, mantique, antique type place. And it has a live music angle as well. And so it's kind of a unique concept. It can really only work in Music City in Nashville. I just think Nashville's food culture is growing exponentially. Every, I feel like, month I hear about a new restaurant. We recognized that there was an openness for us to start strong relationships with farmers and slowly be a part of progressing a food scene as opposed to jumping into one that's already established. Coffee is a magical little thing. We approach it in a pretty scientific way in the background, but then we try to make it pretty easy to, to order. We want it to be delicious, but we can geek out as much as you want to. My favorite food in Nashville is the chicken tortilla soup at Mas Tacos. I go almost every Monday for lunch. The fried avocado taco, the cast iron chicken. In Nashville, we do have a lot of great things going on, but it's still a very small town. So if you're doing something very um, special to you and you're you know, working hard and, and doing something well, um, we're going to find it. The space here is interesting because you're in an honest to God shipping container. And that's, you know, all the way down. You can see that's what we're sitting in. And because of our size, it's more like a living room than it is a dining room. I think it's, it's really a living, breathing music culture here. The streets sound richer than the radios. The Ryman is the venue, not only that you want to play at if you're in a band, but it's one of the best rooms in the country to see a show. I've been to shows ranging from Grizzly Bear to David Byrne to Dave Chappelle. It's a near religious experience to see one of your favorite acts there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Robert's Western World. The atmosphere is one of a good time and stepping back in time. It's about keeping traditional country music alive. Having the tourists come in and the younger people come in to get an education on honky-tonk. So a lot of the locals love that, so they come here. The entertainment here is phenomenal. All over the whole city, you stand here, people walk down the street, they're amazed 
and hearing this beautiful music coming from all of the establishments and it's phenomenal. Music City is back. One, two, three, holler!